Happy New Year. Today we're reading the Bible story called Where Does God Live? It's on page 176 and 177 of your storybook Bible. And it's based on Exodus 3, 1 through 6, Psalm 29, 3, Matthew 3, 16, and Acts 2, 2. And we chose the story today because the Psalm 29 is on the Presbyterian lectionary list. It is not the gospel, but it is one of the other readings that the Presbyterian Church provides for today. Where does God live? When someone asks you where you live, you might say 1497 Daisy Lane or Tennessee or in a yellow house, but where does God live? The Bible tells us that God has many homes and can be found in many places, often where we least expect. God is found in the beauty and magnificent magnificence of the nature, in thunder and fire and bushes, in the wind and in a peaceful dove. Jesus often traveled into the wilderness to listen to God's voice, he knew that God could be found in nature. Many of the words we use to describe God in the Bible also give us clues to where God might be found. Breath, light, mother, father, water, bread of life. These images are like a pin in a map, giving us great ideas of where to look for God. Breath, mother, and father suggest that God lives very, very close to all of us. God is in our homes, in the people we love the most, and in our own bodies. Light and water tell us that God lives near the earth. From the highest heights to the deepest depths, God moves, connecting us all to one another. Bread of life helps us to see God in simple moments like sitting around the dinner table, sharing a meal with family or friends. <clears throat> Solomon built a house for God, and we do the same today. People who love God build sanctuaries and synagogues, mosques and gurdwaras, places where they can be close to God. God doesn't live there, but we feel God's love when we are there. But God isn't just found in people or things. God is also found in love. We know that God is the source of love. That means that when we treat one another with love, God is there. The best way to discover God's address is to love yourself and others well. When you love like that, you will find God. Do you have a sense that God is in nature when you play outside and feel the warm sun on your back? Perhaps you feel God's presence when your parent tucks you in at night or when your friend gives you a big hug. No matter where else God might live, one thing is certain. God lives in you. Our questions are here. Put your head on your parent's chest and listen to the heartbeat. That is a God sound. C. Where else do you think God lives? Act. What are some ways you can be a strong home for God's presence? 